Why do soldiers carry so much stuff on their kit? And what can we do to lighten the load? Size, weight, and power. Let's talk about the billion dollar problem. Soldiers risk their lives each day to preserve the freedom and democracy that we are fortunate to enjoy here in the United States of America. The goal is to ensure that our warfighters are assisted and empowered by the best possible technologies available to ensure both their safety and success. This has led to the creation of tons of different devices, systems, sensors, and receivers, as well as specialized equipment from various manufacturers that provide warfighters an edge. While this is all well-intentioned, it has created a situation where soldiers cannot physically carry all these amazing devices. The result is that soldiers are forced to choose what capabilities they bring on a mission, as opposed to benefiting from all of the capabilities all of the time. What we realized is that it's not really the physical devices that are benefiting warfighters, but rather the information those devices provide. If there was a way that we could deliver the valuable information to all the warfighters on a team without them having to physically carry all the devices, that would provide the maximum benefit with the minimum amount of gear. Our goal is to create a robust fabric of network connectivity on the battlefield and use this network to connect warfighters to the information they require to be successful. Our approach transforms the problem. How many devices can you carry? Can you physically carry two devices, maybe three devices, into a new problem? How much data can you carry? Can you carry the data generated by three devices or four devices and deliver that data to an entire team? Can you carry the ISR video data from multiple aircraft? Can you carry the voice communication data? Can you carry the intelligence data? We are in a network bandwidth arms race on the battlefield. The country that moves more data faster from more sensors and systems to more soldiers will have a clear operational advantage. Some people think that artificial intelligence and edge processing will magically solve all these problems. If you could process all that data at the edge, you wouldn't need to send it anywhere. The reality is, that various pieces of critical information exist all across the operational area on different people and platforms and unmanned systems. In order to leverage AI to make sense of all the data or fuse that data into actionable information, you need to first access the data. This means that these valuable AI systems further fuel the bandwidth arms race, which is already underway. People look at the MPU-5 and think, we threw a bunch of capabilities into a box, like video encoding, radio over IP, USB ports, Android computing. It's like a Swiss army knife. We just forgot to include the toothpick. The reality is that many systems, sensors, and walkie-talkies that soldiers use were never designed to go on a network. This makes sense since historically the military never had a network to put them on. We've had to design the MPU-5 to network these devices, many of which were not designed to be networked. We network ISR receivers by encoding their video and multicasting it across our network. We network sensors by connecting to their USB ports, reading the data, and sending it over the network. We network walkie-talkies by utilizing radio over IP, putting the radios onto our IP network. In the future, some of this will get easier as more manufacturers design their systems for the networked battlefield. But this means there is more data on the network, driving the need for more bandwidth. At Persistent, we spend every day thinking about how we can move data between soldiers faster and more efficiently. How can we ensure that soldiers always have the information they need to make better decisions, accomplish their objectives, and stay safe? 
this is how we solve the swap problem. Our warfighters should never need to choose what capabilities they bring on an operation and which ones they leave at home. The requirement is to provide them the information they need all the time. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.